So karma, what is karma? Karma means intended action. So there are old karmas, which means it's already done. And you're either experiencing the result of that karma or already experienced or it's yet to experience. But the karma itself is already created. And it already exists. We cannot do much about it. But that old karma's result or experience that we get from that karma can serve as a condition for us to create new karma. So if it's a, the early karma is a negative karma, it can bring a negative experience. And that negative experience uh, pushes us to do more negative things, something similar to that karma. So that's how it, it actually already ends because it, you experience, so that's beginning to the end. But that end experience encourages us to do something similar. So that's where you have a new, new cycle of karma. So negative experience, for example, is a, uh, one negative experience, for example, is the result of curious karma. But now it is asking you, it is forcing you to react on it. And if you don't really think about it, you just follow and react, then you just you continue that. That's the cycle. So, when we experience, we usually judge whether it's a good or bad to me. And then judgment follows our action. We either accept it or reject it. And that creates karma. When you accept or reject, you're actually going through an action. So that is the karma creation. If someone says a bad thing and we know what this person is saying, then we start to think that that's negative, that's not good to me. So we start not to like that person and try to reject it, try to give distance and so on, or say even bad things in return. So that's how you create karma. But there is an analogy that I want to give here. Karma operates as if it is a, or if it were a key ring. So it seems solid, the key ring, and you, and you can move your key seamlessly around the circle. Yet there is a, actually a start and ending point in the key ring, and there's a gap. Similarly, our earlier karma creates our experience, uh, creates our experience of the events, and then the new one starts. And in between the two, there is a gap. Gap. If you use the right practice at the right moment, in the moment, then you can extricate yourself from the cycle. Just like you can remove the key if you know the gap out of the circle. And then that can bring a inner ease and connect ourselves to the nature of mind and the truth thereby. Mm -hmm.